Good morning. So today is my last day in Japan and um, I am sad to go. I had a great vacation. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I ate so much, shopped, I saw so many things, did so many fun things, have so many great memories with friends. This was just an amazing trip and I'm hoping to do this every single year, but I guess we say that when we're on vacation and we really love a place, right? Um, so we went last, yesterday was kind of the day to go um, uh, like purse shopping and we were looking for all of the um, consignment stores. We found and we went to at least five different consignment stores and I didn't buy anything surprising I know um, and it was like one of the most it was one of the things that I was most excited about um, but when we were shopping I found that some of the prices on the purses um, they were um, they were not that great of a deal. It was, I mean, some some actually were more than retail price and more than um, what we would pay new in the States. So I was really surprised and disappointed by that. And I think um, I was using eBay as kind of a, well, eBay and some other websites as kind of a reference point on what I thought purses should cost um, in Japan. And I guess that wasn't the case because, you know, eBay is an auction site, so they probably mark it a lot lower. Anyway, so I learned that it's not, although they have a lot of secondhand stores here, I mean, so many, and I have never seen so many Birkins and so many Kellys anywhere. Like, I mean, they had so many. So, I mean, I would recommend if you're looking for a Birk Birkin or Kelly, which I'm not, um, then Japan would be a great place for you to look for purses. I did not see any Chanel jumbos. I, I, I don't know that I saw a lot of the classic flaps either. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was, there was a lot of purses, but the prices weren't that, it, w it wasn't as great as I expected, I guess. And, um, it, I didn't see anything that I really liked actually. So, um, we went to Ginza yesterday and there, I mean, Ginza is a, a luxury shopping district and oh my gosh, the stores are amazing. The Louis Vuitton, the Chanel, it's huge and it's really, I mean, it's just, it's nice. It's fun to shop at. We also went to, um, there was another luxury shopping dist uh, district in, oh, I can't see it and I'm Japanese. Omo Tesando? I don't know. I have to look, but, um, so yeah, a lot of luxury shopping here in Japan, um, and a lot of fun. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot to choose from. It's, it's so much that it sometimes becomes overwhelming. Um, and if you're like me, like when there's, it, like every single day, like we were fighting crowds, crowds through the subways, crowds through the stores. I mean, it was always busy and I don't like crowds. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was still fun. I was with friends, so they, they helped me navigate through. So it wasn't as, um, it wasn't as anxious as I think, I think it would be, but, um, it had a great time and I'm heading back today and, um, we're doing one last bit of shopping in the morning and then I'm flying out on my 10 hour flight back to California. So I will see you guys later and I will share with you everything that I bought. Although I don't know if you're all interested. It's not all, um, it's not designer stuff. So it's, it's just fun goodies. See you guys later. Bye.
Hey friends, wanted to share with you all the Japanese goodies that I picked up um, while on my trip to Japan. I just got back last night and it's about maybe 1.45 p.m. and I actually <laughs> slept until noon trying to get rid of like the jet lag. So anyways, let me share with you. I'm gonna actually, um, I started packing things up then I realized I probably should film a little bit of it. So. Here are some of the pastries that I brought back from Japan, and this is, it says banana caramel custard, and this is very popular. And this is the strawberry cake from Ginza. And this is, this reminds me of a, the Japanese version of a Twinkie, and everything I found in Japan, all, all of like the desserts aren't as sweet as like the American desserts. All right, so these are super, super cool. These are pens that have erasable ink. So let me just, I'll get this out. This is um, a little notepad I bought from Daiso and I will show you what I mean because this is really cool. So this is, again, an erasable pen. So here's the eraser top. Isn't that cool? I also picked up a set of erasable highlighters. And uh, let me show you how this works here. Pretty cool, huh? So I bought a lot of these and they're actually kind of already packaged up. I got a set for myself, actually two sets for myself. Um, I got a set of these highlighters here, another set. These are like in cute different colors. Um, some single pens. I got a lot of these for like some work friends in the single um, ones. And let's see. Um, okay, so I got this. This is lip gloss, and I got some for friends and for myself um, in a few different colors. Well, this is peach. They had some really crazy ones, but I just thought I'd stick with the ones that I thought I like. I know I would use. This is a mask, a face mask, and when you put it on, it has like the Winnie the Pooh design here. This is another face mask and a mask with a panda face design. And I got two Hello Kitty designs. Um, I also picked up a bag of these and this is called um, Daruma. And it's a little figurine and basically you put, you see like, I don't know if you can see that but there's like no eyes, right? So you put one eye, you draw in an eye, or paint in an eye, and you make a wish. And once the wish comes true, then you put in the uh, you draw in the other eye, and this is supposed to be a reminder that um, your wish came true, and that you should be um, grateful and have gratitude. So, anyways, it's not, it's not. Focusing. Ugh, anyway, okay. <sighs> Let's see. So these are like the little gift bags for um, co-workers and I have like the mask. I have the little um, Daruma and um, I'll just take one out. So you'll get a mask or a lip gloss thing. Um, this little Daruma. Snack. And that's like a wafer with uh, like chocolate in it. And then a erasable highlighter and pen. This is like a little box of my favorite Japanese caramels. They're so good. They're so milky. 
Um, this is Arare, or like Japanese rice crackers with like sh uh, shoyu. This one has peanuts in it too. This is Oreo, green tea Oreo cookies. And in this bag, I just have um, some of these candies that I bought here. So just a bunch of little candies. Um, so okay, so we have the ume candy here. So the Japanese grape mentos. We have the ume candy. I think this is like haichu, I think. These are Japanese caramels. It comes in a pack of four. More ume gum. We have, um, I think this is like pineapple haichu. And ume. Ume is, I'm sorry, ume is like a Japanese plum. So it's kind of like sour. Or maybe this is uh, sakura, like cherry flavor. I don't know. I don't know how to read Japanese, so... Yeah, more of these snacks and these toys and these are the Japanese caramels. What I love, I used to love this as a kid because on the top you have like your toy surprise and then the bottom you have caramels. So I got two of those. I got more um, of these like ume candies and it has uh, the plum in the middle. And these are really good. I opened these up. These are the Japanese plum, the, the ume. Um, it's kind of like a chewy candy. And I got this. This reminds me of um, the sour straws. These are really good. And then I got some dried fruit, um, mango and pineapple here. And then I got some of these little candies that I put into um, I put into my coworkers' goodie bags or omayage. Um, little bags. I just stuffed them full. Let's see, what's in here? I don't know that I have any, like... Oh, I got, uh, a Shu Uemura, um, eyelash color. And some of these... This is a soap. This Ichigo milk flavor. It's a strawberry milk soap. I love the scent. It reminds me of, like, the strawberry candies that I used to love. When I was a little girl, so I got that and some bath bombs. And got two of these cute little keychains here. And these are all gifts for family. And I got a couple bags of these um, green tea Kit Kats. And um, let's see what's in here. And here, I got these. This is really, really cute. It's a uh, Rila Kuma, and it's like a little toy set. I honestly don't know who I'm going to give it to. I'm probably just going to keep it for myself. And this is like a gachipon, so like a toy capsule. And um, got it from the little toy machines. I was so obsessed with those. And another little Daruma. This one I might keep for myself. Oh, I got this little resin resin kit from Yuza Waya. And you can see right there, it makes like the, sh like if you have resin, it'll make like the shape of a Chanel bottle. So I thought that was really cool. Just need to figure out how to do it. I got a couple of wash, I only got two washi tapes actually from there. This is like a Tsum Tsum washi tape that at the Disney store and got this Mickey Mouse washi tape from Daiso in Japan. Oh my gosh, Daiso in Japan was crazy. It was so busy. Um, I picked up a bunch of these and I already have it like wrapped up. This is that candy thing. Um, I bought a couple for my nieces and I bought a few of these for my um, family as well. And these are like little cell phone charms, I think. I bought a t-shirt for myself, adorable Hello Kitty shirt, 
here and picked up a Tsum Tsum pajama set here. And this is from Uniqlo. <sighs> Let's see. I picked up a few of these, actually, and I have a couple already wrapped up. But these are um, like little towels. I've got this reusable bag. This, um, cute Sakura, um, umbrella, and he's got a little smashed up in my bag, but it's Sakura Arare. I will say this hand cream here smells so good, and it's probably one of the best hand creams that I've tried, hands down. Like it doesn't give you that greasy feeling, but it's very heavy at the same time. I don't know how they do it, but they do. Picked up this Tsum Tsum um, tissue pouch. It has, I think, a coin purse in the back here. More of these um, keychain thingies. Another soap thing. And uh, what else did I get here? And I got this, uh, let's see, hand wipes. I got these at Daiso. I thought they were cute. And I got this little yukata for a friend who is having a baby girl. I actually got more things, but they're downstairs and they're already kind of packaged up, so I'm sorry I didn't get to share those with you. So these are the things that, all the little food items that I picked up while on my trip. Um, the gifts here. I did not buy any luxury items. I'm not super bummed because I didn't really find anything that I liked and I didn't think the prices were all that great either. So anyways, I will see you guys later. picked up um, this Hello Kitty reusable bag. I thought this was adorable. Um, I, I got a little mix, mixed up, but all of the pens and stationary items, they were from Tokyo Hands. This is the coolest thing ever. This is a stapleless stapler. And let me see if I can show you how it works here. Okay, so I have a couple of pages here, and let me see if I can... So here's a stapler. So you see, it's stapled together. I don't know if you can see that. Here, it's a stapleless stapler. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I also picked this up too. This is a little macaroon, um, like a paper clip set. It has like little tiny macaroon clips in there. And I got two of these like little uh, scotch tape things. I thought this was cute. They're in like little kitty cat prints. Um, and I got more of these little gachipon things. I picked up, um, we went to Lottere, the macaroon shop as well, and I picked up a keychain, and I think I left that downstairs, so I will take a picture of it later. 